him in. Um, you know, horrible experience. Uh, you know, my parents, uh, you know, ended up, you know, they'd come and visit me and they thought I was completely crazy. Uh, were giving me all these kind of, well, well, you know, we'll let you come home. My parents would let me come home if I did this, this, and this. So, uh, you know, after about, you know, after about a week, I started just saying, okay, well, yeah, I know it's not happening. Um, you know, t telling my parents, okay, well, I'll do whatever y'all want me to do. Um, yeah, and I'll, I'll just, I'll just kind of get my mind off of it. You know, it's probably, probably not happening. Um, so I got out of there, but I got out of there by kind of placating everybody and telling them, you know, well, I don't, you know, I don't think this is really happening like I'm saying it's happening. When I knew, I knew damn well it was happening and I was getting hit so hard in that uh, short-term behavioral center. I mean, my attackers uh, were remotely hitting me in the chest, in the head, in the genitals so hard that I was like going into shock. You know, they got me in there, and they were going for the... They wanted me to stay in there. They wanted me to go someplace worse. Um, I remember, you know, sitting on the floor and uh, and reading Psalms. I just started reading Psalms, you know, where where, Dave, where David is basically being gang-stalked, uh, you know, out in the wilderness, and he's crying out to God, and I just remember it. I had got... I got along in the, in the place where people couldn't really clean themselves, and the and the place where people were there for drug issues and other other behavioral issues and you know some mental issues um you know I got along with everybody and i I played nice and I went to all the little you know uh you know the classes that they'd have i I don't know if they're called classes, but anyway, so I got out of there um I got out of there, and that's when I started making videos hardcore. That's when I did, my attackers succeeded in scaring me away from, like, calling the police every day, from trying to go to authority figures to fix this. I was like, if I tell people, they're going to throw me in there again. So I said, my only pathway to this, and th this is kind of, I like I like the way that this is going, um... Let me let me take a drink of my coke. But I like the way that my video is going because I it it kind of tells y'all why I make so many videos. Um, and I do I think the other stuff, you know, trying to get court cases, trying to talk to authority figures, it's a different world, uh, you know, five years forward than it was back then when I got put into the place, got put into the mental place, and that was about 2000, uh, two, 2013 that that happened. Now it's 2017. It's four years long. And things are a lot different, um, but uh, let me let me do this. Kind of convoluted, I know. In the ten years before, like the high pitch sound started, I'm still trying to figure things out because I didn't notice things. I wasn't picking them up, but I look back and I say, oh. You know, oh, that was weird. My jaw just starting to hurt from nowhere. My shoulder, you know. So, so going through to my own head kind of helps, and just documenting it and fit and keep. You know, I keep thinking. You know, my main thing is that, um, you know, either for my wisdom teeth and a bunch of colonoscopies, uh, health issues as a child, I have hardware put in me. So I think that I do have a chip, um, you know, near my jaw or in, in one of these teeth, and then I've had a bunch of colonoscopies, so I do think I have certain hardware in me. I don't think that you need to have this stuff to be attacked. There's nanoparticulates um, and other things they use externally, like they'll do a relevant biofeedback loop on, on kind of your, your brain's fingerprint. I think that they use a lot of redundant systems, but what I've noticed is that um, you know, I do a lot of things like cleansing and supplements, which I'm going to do a video on uh, during the November uh, November video bomb 2017 TM. Um, but I'm going to go through a lot of those things. I'm going to probably I don't know because I have 30 days of making videos. So in in one of the videos, I may stand on my head uh, and just sing my favorite song, you know, because there's going to be 30 days. I don't know how I'm going to, how I'm going to do a new video every day. But where was I at? Okay, so, um, this is important. Um, this was important because, you know, when I got out of that short-term behavioral center, and that's a politically correct way of saying the loony bin, 
I realized that I could get in a lot of trouble if I went to certain authority figures. So I just started making a lot of videos, and I started watching a lot of other TIs on YouTube. And that's when I kind of decided awareness is where it's at. Because as long as the system is locked into place, and we can't get help from people, and they're just going to call us crazy. I mean, one of the nurses, like when I was, I, I got put into the blue suit, like the blue outfit, and I, you know, they weren't letting me go. And I was like, I just want to go home. You know, she, she said, go sit down, ain't nobody hitting you with ray guns. I mean, and th that wasn't anything of what I said. I mean, and it was complete. It was like she was harassing me in there, like a nurse who's supposed to be compassionate. And she was like, ain't nobody hitting you with ray guns. Go sit down. Um, but that, but that's when I, um, I did, I, you know, I was, I was calling the FBI every day. I was calling the FCC. I was like, who do I call after the inspector general? You know, I'm going to call the, I'm just going to keep going up the ladder but that that my attackers did succeed with that maneuver because it caused so much trouble with my parents. Um, it just caused so much trouble, and it was like uh, tons of money. You know, I think it was like initially twenty six thousand dollars for a two week stay, which did end up getting compacted down to three thousand dollars, which I'm not gonna ever pay. Um, never, I will never pay that. Um, you know, they can shove that up their asses. Um, and, Thank you very much. They can shove that up their asses. But, um, you know, it got me on this road where I realized that awareness is so important. And then we can't get the help of authority figures uh, in authority without first putting the cart before the horse. Uh, this is a weird situation. Targeting is a weird situation where I think it is going to have to be grassroots from, from the ground up. Uh, and the cart is going to have to come before the horse. As in a normal world, you should be able to go to a policeman and tell them you're being murdered. They start investigating and helping you out. We're going to have to convince the world that this is happening before policemen, before police will help us, before lawyers will help us, before all this will happen. Good news is that is happening as we speak. Uh, four years ago, it looked a lot different to me. You know, it, it, it looked a lot different. I knew miracles would happen. I knew that awareness would build up. You know, you can go back and look at some of my videos. I knew certain things. I didn't know about how everything worked, why they were doing certain things. And I might do my video tomorrow on um, on kind of how the how the uh, you know how the torture progressed, and then how the like remote neural monitoring, how I figured out that was happening, and how I figured out the remote neural manipulation was happening. Uh, you know, and how that progressed with the trauma that they were that they were inflicting on me in that house. Because I know I kind of mi I kind of missed that, and I kind of just gave a general overview of kind of how things happened, including the ten years prior where I think stuff was going on. I think I was being surveilled. I think weird stuff was going on, but I had no clue. I had no clue, and there was no outward sign. There was no high pitched sound. There was no V two K. There was pain that I attributed to my Crohn's disease, and I think that, you know, whoever was doing this to me, uh, I think that they did know how I was thinking. They, for, they knew, uh, either through remote neural monitoring or some other way, how I was kind of uh, coming up against this and, and, and that I thought it was my Crohn's disease. So I think they then, um, you know, then they built that protocol for the next 10 years around that. Um, now, when, when they started hardcore on me, high pitch sound, um, you know, uh, the V2K and everything like that, I think I was pushed into another rung of the program, and this was, uh, you know, around 2010, 2011, that this hardcore thing happened, and I think that, you know, and I'll, I'll make another video about this, I'll have 30 days of coming up with stuff, it, you know, I, I can actually, it's like, it's like kind of two ways. It's like, man, this is going to be hard, but there's so much to talk about with this that it's going to be kind of neat. It's going to be neat, me trying to think about, you know, like, you know, and, and I'm going to do, I'm going to do some stuff. I'm not just going to give testimonials the whole time, I promise you guys. Um, and y'all also participate, but that's kind of, I guess that's where I'll leave it for now. Um, you know, there was stuff after the house. I did get a roommate, and she burnt down the house. She wasn't a gang stalker. It was just, she, it was just really bad luck. Um, but the house burned down, and it really had nothing to do with gang stalking. And then, 
you know, I moved into a condo that now my parents come and stay in, and then I moved into this condo. So I made two moves after that. Stayed in a townhouse with her for a while before I moved into the condo that I was at. So there's been some time after that house um, where, you know, I think that people around me uh, have have um, participated in harassment, but I really don't think that maybe maybe a few ground weapons, maybe, but I don't even think so. I think that after I got out of that house, uh, you know, everything moved to being remotely hit. They had it where they can they can just hit me remotely, and they didn't find the need to to give any of the people who lived around me weapons. Now I know it's different from so, for some other target individuals, and plus this stuff is very confusing. So you know they could have came to some of my neighbors and said, "Hey, you know we've got this ground weapon." It could have happened like that. Um, I'm getting to about an hour though, um, so. Maybe I'll I'll kind of uh, that's what I'll maybe tomorrow I'll kind of wrap this up I'll kind of go over the this is this will be kind of the the first half of um, of the whole thing and then I'll I'll go into you know living in in the townhouse with uh, with my roommate li- then go then move into the condo across the way which now my parents uh, stay in when they come in, um, and then moving into this condo. Maybe I'll kind of just finish that out because I have a lot of days, um, of doing videos. So I think that's what I'll do tomorrow. See, I already got it planned out. I already got it planned out. You start doing videos, you start, oh, that's what I'll do tomorrow. That's what I'll do then. Um, yeah, so that's what I'll do. I'll kind of finish this out and, and kind of, uh, talk about, um, you know, how, how I, I realized that I was being remote neural monitored. Uh, and kind of how the remote ni- manipulation, you know, because it was after, um, and this was my awareness of it. Awareness of what's going on is a little bit different from if they did it to you before and you just didn't know it was happening. So this stuff gets very complicated, guys, and hopefully we can show how uh, how deceitful and confusing this stuff is by m- me babbling about it, you know. Um, but all right, guys, I'm getting to about an hour. I'm going to kind of finish this up tomorrow. Um, and that will be my third day of the November, uh, video bomb 2017 TM. Uh, please participate. You know, if you make videos, please, uh, make mention of this on your videos. Say Kyle's doing a video bomb. He's going to do a video every, every day of, of the month of November, I'm going to uh, talk about it on the conference call. I think Terry's going to put it out on a, on um, his newsletter or on his website. So go to StopGangStalkingCrimes.com. This is a marathon of information uh, of my personal testimony. Um, I think I'm going to get some vehicular stalking. I'm going to get my, um, my ghost EMF meter, get some readings inside of my condo. I'm just going to, I mean, I got 30 days, so an information bomb if you will an information bomb a video bomb uh getting information out hopefully inspiring other ti's to do so i know there's tons of ti's already inspiring who are inspiring me who have inspired me from the beginning and i'll tell you all about some of those people you know who i first saw um you know as a ti who i first looked into and i said man i'm gonna do that because that makes me feel like i'm not alone in the world um you know, especially William the Bastard. He was a huge one who, I don't think his information is, uh, you know, he had some good information, some good stuff. I just, I don't think it was spot on, hey, this is what's happening. This is exactly how it's happening. But he made long videos that I felt like this is another TI talking for a long time. And that's why I made my videos like two hours, an hour at the beginning. Um, all right, guys, I'm kind of getting to an hour. So I'm going to kind of continue this on this same line tomorrow and finish this up and then probably I'll have a million other topics but I don't want to do it just personal testimony so I'll try and finish out the personal testimony uh, t- testimonial thing tomorrow I may have to you know may have to well we have 30 days so you know we have 30 days all right guys I love y'all God is with us um, please participate in this video bomb uh, in November um, or just, uh, talk about, it. just tell people, you know, that I'm doing it, um, you know, or say, or say that you're participating in it on your videos, uh, Facebook, Twitter, you know, YouTube, whatever I don't know about, um, 
you know, let's let's do a November uh, video bomb 2017. All right, guys, I love y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next one tomorrow.